all right what's up guys and welcome to an eevee guide where basically i want to wrap this down this is most likely going to be the most easy way of eevee train more, more full stats like 252 252 stats if you want to capitalize on that um if you want to be more specific this is a good way of doing so but i think you're going to have that finite structure and uh, first what you want to do before going in is the match bracers or the bracers not match bracers in mesagosa down what like see yeah, i'm already at it but yeah the um, delibird shop right so basically you fly either here to the beginning or at the academy you move down here here's where you can buy bracers this is what i'm trying to do is when i bought this bracer is that most of my mods go into have speed evs or hp so uh, on the general goods if they are defensive i only need i need five to get every hp set as possible and then the rest I just need in free, so see, uh, here's where you can buy them. There, there will be a lot of money lost here. You, you're probably going to run, well, honestly, 200,000 is where you're going to cost you to, hopefully, you already have that in the end game where you're able to EV train. But um, this is how I do it. So basically buy 5 to the speed, 5 to the HP, and free of the rest, you should be fine. I'm a bit of a hypocrite, but I have two here. I do not train tanky mods, rarely do I do. Um, after that, there are two places where you can go. Um, the idea is that, the, or the best way of going about it, is to find a place that gives you speed EVs and then put a bracer on to boost your attack or special attack. Same thing with HP, find a place that gave you all HP and then give the bracers on defense or special defense, depending on how you want to use this bond. I'm gonna showcase what I mean, but basically, let's say now I'm gonna move to a place where I know there are basically only speed EVs um, and there are two really solid places to kind of train this because I've seen a lot of guides that show here is where the special attack is and there is where the other one is so here is a special attack for example um, and then you can special attack boost yourself but I think it actually complicates things you only need to be at one spot and hang there for a while there are two spots of relevance first one if you want speed go to your house that's where you get to speed. I'm gonna show you how. Uh, since we're gonna build a offensive man, this is his place where we're gonna hang. If you want HP and wanna build defensive builds, it actually is better off going to L L <laughs> the Lost Plateaus to get yourself your your Lashongs and your Paldean Whoopers, all of them, and the Super Builds to give you HP through good spots to so actually even trade with other Bracers and then wrap up. Um, so with that said, we're gonna move to my house. And... Um, I'm gonna show you with a timer how long this takes to fully EV train a Pokemon. I'm gonna skip my webcam through that process and just say hello again once I'm ready. Um, but I'm gonna record and most likely just skip as much as possible, just forward train as you guys see that I am actually <laughs> doing it. But the thing is here, I have five mods when EV train. I either caught them on raids and there are ideal IVs with just poor abilities or at worst poor. Um, um, a poor nature, but besides that, they're ideal, and or I bred up this guy who just gonna work because Quaxley is awesome and I need uh, one of my team. Um, so what I wanna do is go to my bags, like I said, if, I mean, they, they're clearly... I'm actually miss, messing up a little bit here because I cannot sustain uh, one special attacker and the rest of physical, so what I wanna do is uh, kick somebody off the team and use a special attacker, luckily I've actually caught more special attackers than I know I can use, so, uh, meanwhile, you're out. So, <laughs> one special attacker, one special attacker, and three physical. And skill dirt is just ideal because it has actually fast animation on his moves and also has a lot of PP on his move. But basically, you can use any mon here and they'll be fine. So, go to boxes, and you go to uh, where the XP stuff is, and move yourself to the bracers. Uh, so I want to give the power bracers to the ones who need attack. Um, let's see, there we go. And the other one's going to get special attack, nothing to it. So the power lens, sure, whatever, bro. Um, and basically from here, we go into have, go through 32 battles and consider my my Grimlock <laughs> or my Skeledurge. Basically what it needs to do is uh, Shadow Ball and Hyper Voice need to be depleted or pretty much every move here that is offensive need to be depleted that I know I fully EV'd um, the other mons basically. 
So what I'll do is basically take it from there. So with that said, I'm going to cut the camera. But I'm also going to showcase a timer so you guys get exactly how long this takes. So I'm going to start this one now. Right? There we go. So see you guys real soon. As you guys will see here, I kind of forgot to tell you, there are three mods here that are rather frequent that are going to give you speed EVs, Magikarp, Wingo and Float Seal. All of them are friends and also if Halifin somehow finds a way, it's also friend. So basically you want to kill those and there are all these mods going to just get flatted with really ease. Can I, I, I guess I have an opportunity here of uh, screwing this over, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, also, I forgot to say, you can find the love distance or um, raids, I don't know what to call them, but they basically give you um, also speed. So, what you want to do is maximize your offensive stats first, and once, you, once you've done that, um, you can just switch into speed and wrap up. And also, yeah, the, um, this torpedo Pokemon, I forgot what it's called, and uh, not the Barracuda, but the other one, Aracuda is also giving you speed. So basically, this whole spot giving you great IVs. I think they kind of messed that up on the guides of Maryland's and whatnot, where you need to be a specific place. You, you just go down here, everything dies on you know, a, a light breeze anyway, if you're in the in game. Um, but besides that, like... <laughs> I, I like that I find stuff with speed. Um, but you will also face mods like Quillfish here. Quillfish give you an attack, and that's stuff you want to kind of want to avoid. Unless you have five offensive attackers, like I said. Uh, but yeah, I found this process being just really good, and I had no reason not to do this in any other way. So hopefully, hopefully that explains it, and uh, well, gonna speak again once everything's killed. For the first process, that is. Right? Now you guys can see that uh, the first process is done. Everybody got their maximized stats on their physical side and we built some speed, but barely not noticeable. And we're 12 minutes in. So what we're gonna do now is heal back up and then we're gonna do this all again. So back to the boxes. And this time we're gonna just give everybody speed. Actually not boxes. The bag. How about that? That's okay. I feel like I haven't planned how to put the items on, if you want to do that correctly. Um, let's see, speed, 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 there we go, power. Everything is power. So it, it's not really exciting, it really isn't, but basically heal up and then we're gonna have the remaining mods basically to get ourselves some speed. So back to the house and um, well, we'll take it from there. Uh, the only positive part I should say is that once you get back to the house that um, you can heal up while talking to your mother. She also could force you for a cutscene if you're really unlucky, but uh, hopefully that isn't happening. But basically, this takes me roughly 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna speed this up and then, you know, show the timers. You guys see exactly how long it's took. But it really is a rather nice process. All things considered, it's it could have been, in my opinion, far worse. Um, and like I said, it went with HP. Works roughly the same. Assumerillion Whoppers spawn really, really frequent together with them. Um, um, <laughs> together with them. Um, Lejonk, uh, but basically this is just smooth sailing, it really is. So with that said, I'll hear back for you in a while once our speed is full.
all right as you guys can see we are now fully well ev'd and the timer will give us a time of roughly 22 minutes so i think that's a fair time there are optimizations to be made here for example uh, you could run a pommy or anything like that or a pomo with just thundershock 35 pp and you should be fine basically the first run with your first stat is 32 battles and the other one is 25 battles with the bracers on uh, with speed but i found this to be the most effective way to ev train your pokemon and 22 minutes is not half bad uh, i recommend getting yourself a snack and a good movie or just a series and just watch that while you do this i don't believe 20 minutes is all that bad but 22 minutes is where it took me this time and it was with really no real issues maybe a few stretches where i didn't find them on but quite frankly it wasn't all that bad so yeah i hope you liked this bit of episode and if you want to ask me anything about evs and how to go about things free feel free to ask me i'm I definitely don't think it's too complicated, even though it's frustrating depending on how you want to go about things, but this is one of the most effective offensive mons. And for the defensive mons, there's a spot, like I said, they were on, on the earlier that have a lot of whoppers and uh, assume reels, and they're great. So that's it, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys for the next episode with battles and how to use. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.